Hey guys, so real quick before I start this video, if you want to see how I did this no makeup makeup look, go check in the description box. I posted that a few days ago. So anyways, you probably clicked on this video because you are interested in seeing the piercings I have, the pain they caused, how the procedure was, kind of the whole nine yards. Um, so this is a different video than anything I've ever done just because I am typically like a beauty channel. Um, I do a little vlogging on the side, I do vlogging with my boyfriend on our channel, I do that kind of stuff. Um, so bear with me, <laughs> it's the first video kind of doing this, but I've been watching lots of them lately and I was inspired to do one of my own since I have a good amount of piercings I'd say. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to go through, show you each one, tell you about the pain, tell you when I got it pierced, um, tell you how it goes, tell you where I got them pierced. Um, and some methods of helping with like keloids and hypertrophic scarring and that kind of thing. So if that floats your boat, stick around. So the disclaimer I just want to say right off is I am not a professional piercer. I never claim to be and I never will claim to be because that's not my jam. Um, good for people who do it, I don't. So this is all just opinion. It's all my pain threshold. It's all you know, my own experiences, and that's all I'm basing it off of. I have 11 piercings. They're all on my ears, so kind of quick glance at them. They're all on my ears. I don't have body piercings. I don't have tattoos. Um, whether or not I want tattoos someday, I do. Just don't know when that will actually happen, but tattoos could be in my future. Um, as far as more piercings, more piercings are probably in my future as far as ears. There's a couple more I want. I can talk more about that at the end though. So I have the two basic, you know, your basic first piercing is your first hole in your earlobe. Uh, this I got done, I believe I was around like 10 to 12 area, basically because my mom always wanted me and my sister to, um, you know, have the choice of ear piercing. So she never did it when we were a baby. Uh, she left it up to us and that was really nerve wracking for me. I get it. And I, I feel like I would do the same, but it made me really nervous because I had to decide. I had to be like, okay, I'm going to go through with this and this will probably hurt. And so I was nervous. So, of course, you know, just like everyone's first piercing probably because, you know, we were uneducated about um, piercing guns and all that stuff. We went to, I believe it was icing at the time. I've gone to both icing and Claire's and you know how icing is the store by Claire's or it was. Yeah. So went to icing, got my first holes. I'm gonna do a pain threshold of um, zero to 10. One. <laughs> I'm saying one, honestly, because one, I can't really remember it. Um, and two, I mean, it was just your basic lobe. Like, no big deal, no big deal. As far as healing went, they healed pretty well um, in the 9 to 12 weeks that you usually have to wait, and I've been wearing lots of different earrings ever since. I have the second lobe piercing as well, and these I got pierced, I believe, like one or two years after my first holes. Um, I also got this done at icing with the gun. Again. Just wait. I do get educated eventually. Just the, there's plenty of piercings where I wasn't, but I will in no way, shape or form ever condone doing um, a piercing gun ever again. Um, if I have a daughter or even a son who wants ear piercings, we will go to a professional piercer. We are not doing the gun route. Um, but yeah, so I got my second hole done. The pain level is probably a two because I remember it being like a little more than the first one um but nothing bad and healing was fine again nine to twelve weeks and then I mostly wear studs there the only the only hole I wear dangles in is my first holes just because that's typical then I have my third holes pierce my third lobes there's a story with this this is the third the second time I've had this one pierced and the third time I've had this one pierced the first time I had my third holes pierced was on my 18th birthday. Went to the mall, went to Piercing Pagoda this time. Got them pierced, and I think, oh, I, 
what happened was they pierced this one too low. Like it was so obvious that it was too low. It looked awful. It was so embarrassing. I'm like, I hated it. So basically I just ended up taking it out after the healing period. I don't even know why I waited that long. I tried. I tried like different little like piercing, like earrings. I tried to put like a bigger one in this hole and a little one in this hole to offset it. Didn't work. So, and then I just ended up taking this one out too. So I had no third holes. Then that's when I saw the light and I went to a professional piercing shop and it was the first piercings I got through them and um, I got both re-pierced. Once again, I don't know what it is. This is the one I have gotten re-pierced from the professional piercing shop. Um, I think it was two years ago about yes it was two years ago my Facebook feed actually just showed me that um so two years ago so I was 20 and this one was still uneven not as bad as when I got it pierced at the mall but it was still uneven so I took just this one out and I had this one out for a while I got this one re-pierced for the third time through a different piercer at that piercing shop um, and this one is, I don't know if you can like see, it is still, still not the most even. I don't know if it's the fact of, you know, I would wait the healing period for it to get healed before it could get pierced again. It's a lobe, so it can get pierced again, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I find like when I adjust the, the earring a little bit and I push it up, it looks better. Um, and more aligned like this looks perfect to me. That is how I want it to look So this one's just it bothers me a little bit, but I'm keeping it in for now <laughs> So yeah, third time's a charm. We'll see. I just realized I goofed I got my third holes the first time when I was about 16 or 17 with a gun in Claire's That's when I got Claire's um, What I did when I was 18 I had gotten this helix piercing and one right above it, so I had a double helix, and then I had gotten right about here, like your mid ear. I don't know if that's, te I feel like that's technically a helix because it's cartilage, but yeah. So I had gotten those two done on my 18th birthday from Piercing Pagoda. Both of them are no longer because both of them, the healing was awful, got rid of them, just got rid of them. Um, the pain of this one was maybe like a four, the pain of the double helix was maybe like a six, just because it was two in a row. With the gun, honestly, it hurts more just because of the punch and the needle. I honestly feel like getting pierced with a gun is more painful than with a needle. Um, so there's that as well. So yeah, I just took those two out. I actually have a blog post that I wrote a couple years ago, I think, and I will link it below, and it's talking all about my experience with those piercings and how it was just it was awful so go read up on that but surprisingly this helix healed what's funny is the one on top had the hugest bubble ever and it was just awful and painful it was a nightmare this one kind of had one but I saved it because I was like this one is savable like this one is not awful I can deal with this but I'm telling you guys this took maybe two to three years to completely not give me problems I mean it kept getting bubbles it kept getting infected it kept hurting so bad um, and I had to clean it so much it was bad so but I'm, I'm glad you know I went through it because I still enjoy it and I love this feather piercing I just think it's so pretty so yeah so that is the end of hearing about piercing guns. Yay! So I saw the light when I went for my third holes, and that was when I was 20. I went to Black Diamond Body Piercing in West Hartford. That is the only piercing shop in Connecticut that is solely for piercings. Um, you can go to a lot of tattoo parlors that also have a piercing section in them, but I was so intrigued by this place because it just does piercings like that is their specialty that's all they do um, and these people are really well trained and they're really awesome really friendly have an amazing array of jewelry it's a little pricier going to a piercing shop like this because the jewelry is more 
high end and you're paying for people who have to pay for their education and their certif certificates and all that type of stuff but it is so worth it so that's where i have gone for three trips of different piercings so the first was the third holes second trip there no i've been four times guys okay i've been four times because i got my third holes the second trip i went there was getting my double helix so I missed my double helix. I, I loved how it looked on this side and I can't get this one re-pierced because they're explaining how once it's, you know, once the cartilage is pierced with the gun, you can't re-pierce there ever again in that same spot. Um, just because it is torn, it will never completely heal, heal like a lobe. So that's null and void. So I was like, well, I have another ear. So I did the double helix on this ear. I actually just changed to these earrings like two or three days ago because I hit a year of healing in February. So I got these when I was 21. And the pain probably around like a five, six, just because you're getting, again, you're getting two in a row. So like the needle hurts less than when you got when I got it with the gun in my helix but when you do the second one it's like eh, like it's just it's uncomfortable because you know a region so close to it is already like throbbing and hot so yeah but that's my double helix and healing wise is getting a little tricky with that one because I thought it was all healed and so I changed the earrings because you have to wait at least a year for cartilage piercings but I changed and I have bubbles on the back of them now so I am doing the procedure of you know sea salt soaks again and twice a day and um, using the chamomile tea bags to soothe it and it seems to be helping and bringing the bubbles down so I will link below also another video on how to help with hypertrophic scarring and infections and different stuff like that. All the bubbles you get from all the different piercings, doesn't matter where, um, I have a great trick for you guys and I, I, I just, I swear by it. So I'm doing that again, so it is in a little bit of pain right now, but I'm gonna work through it because I love them and I at least know like how to work with the issues that come up. Basically, when you get issues with your piercings, and most likely you will, because most people do, and you know, even if it's just because you're, you know, you're sleeping on that ear, or your clothes, you know, pull on that ear, or you're touching it, which is terrible, don't do it because your hands are so dirty, um, you're gonna have some issues, so just baby it for a few days. Baby it for like a week or two, and you should be good. So that's my double helix. So then... The third trip I had to the professional piercing parlor was when I got the third hole repierced for the third time and I got my rook done. So I have to say that my rook is probably still my favorite piercing to date. I just think it is so cool. Like, I love that it's kind of different. More people are starting to get, like, more of the piercings lately just because it's a fad, kind of like tattoos. But for me, it's just, it's different. Like, I never imagined I'd get such a different piercing like I was kind of basic you know just getting the lobes and cartilage you know just basic everyday earrings um but then I branched out and I got the rook and I'm like in love with it not to mention the healing has been a dream I mean knock on wood oh my god guys like I had the normal crustiness at the beginning whatnot you know I'm still cleaning it it's about six months in again cartilage takes about a year I got this about six months ago and I, it was right after my 22nd birthday and it just it's it's not getting infected it's not getting bumps it's just perfect I love this earring it's just it's treating me so well it looks awesome love it it was also the first e earring that I got anything besides an 18 gauge all of my earrings are 18 gauge except my rook and my conch um, 18 gauge is the standard piercing size. 16 gauge is just one size up, but I was all like intimidated because I'm like, whoa, getting a bigger earring, it's gonna hurt more. I thought my rook was gonna hurt so bad because if you feel your rook, it feels so much thicker when you think about it. Pain level, when it did get pierced, honestly, most painful piercing for me. Um, it was a six or a seven. Um, you know, not excruciating, but how I like to describe it is, 
I was about to say like an audible ow if the piercing went on like a second longer. Like at least it's fast enough so that by the time I was going to say ow it's over. But if it, you know, kept on going, it was going to hurt a lot. So it was my most painful piercing. Um, you know, and a lot, I hear a lot of people kind of say that about Rooks. So that is my disclaimer. However, it is also my favorite. So for me, worth it. It's also the most easily healed for me. I don't know what it is. Even my third lobe holes got all the bubbles and everything. This one is healing like an absolute dream. So pros and cons, you kind of choose them, but I love it. Then my last piercing that I got, I got this actually about two months ago now. I've only had it for two months, wow, um, is my conch. So I got this awesome blue barbell in it because at the time it matched the blues that I had in my Helix, which now it doesn't match, but whatever. And first of all, I love the jewelry. I think it's beautiful, but I love it. Again, it's like, it's, it's an earring that's kind of just not the norm. Um, this is a 14 gauge, so this is two sizes bigger than the typical earring and one size bigger than the Rook in diameter. Um, so that's like the part that goes through your ear. But it's awesome. And the thing is, they told me about the 14 gauge just because I guess it's easier to get jewelry for a conch when your 14 gauge are up. Um, just because that's kind of the most common thing to do. Um, with the Rook, I had the two options. I could either get the 18 gauge or the 16, but I thought the 16 looked cooler because it's bigger. And it's a hidden earring as it is. Like, you really can't see it unless I turn my head. Um, so I wanted to get one that was more noticeable. But same here, because if I got the 16 gauge, one, it would be harder to find jewelry. And two, two of the hoops they said weren't going to be as durable because eventually I want to change to a hoop kind of like what Jenna Marbles has. That's the reference that every everyone here on YouTube likes to make. That's the earring she has is the conch. Um, and three, I liked that the size of the stud was a little bit bigger. Pain wise, let me tell you guys, I don't know if I'm getting used to getting earrings or something. I was so scared to get a conch because again, super thick. If you feel this area, it is super thick. I was so nervous, but guess what? I'm rating this a two maybe because I swear it was so fast and I was so nervous, but at the same time relaxed. It was a weird feeling. Um, it, I didn't feel it, I swear. Like I felt a little pinch and that was it. Like I was just like, really? It's done? Like I was expecting it to go on longer, or be more painful or something. And it was just awesome. So a lot of people actually say that their conch is their most painful piercing. If they have all the ones that I have, they'll even say the conch is more painful than the Rook. But another disclaimer, your pain is your pain. Mine is mine. Everyone has a different pain tolerance and a different pain threshold. So remember to keep that in mind and take this with a grain of salt. So another couple little notes, um, I also went from when I was getting pierced with the piercing gun and they said to use, you know, the solution that they have you buy with it. Don't do that. Don't do peroxide. Don't do alcohol. Don't do any of that stuff. All you got to do is put a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt in eight ounces of distilled water, heat it up in the microwave and let it cool off a little bit. I only heat up a little at a time. You don't need the whole, like, eight ounces. Um, take your Q-tip and, you know, clean the area really good. You're good to go. What they will tell you is um, to do sea, soaks, sea salt soaks um, for 20 minutes twice a day to, like, clean it. What I found is that is so difficult to do with ears, okay? Like, do you understand how hard it is to, like, sit like this and get it just right? So... Instead of buying the sea salt like spray that you essentially do the same thing with the q-tip, I just make my own. And so I have like an 8 ounce thing and I keep it in the fridge for a long time. Um, and I just take a little at a time, I clean it twice a day, and that is how you clean it. It's inexpensive, it's easy to make, it lasts a while, and it is just the best way to clean them. So definitely clean them that way, not with that that stuff that they give you at the mall. It just, it's, it's no good. So this video is getting longer than I anticipated, but I wanted to go over every piercing in detail 
for you guys. I've wanted to do one of these for a while and I'm excited that I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you like these videos and you want more updates when I get more earrings or maybe tattoos in the future. Maybe I can do like an update in six months or a year or something. Um, but I really like doing this and I hope it was informative and helpful to you guys who are interested in some piercings. Um, I know that I always liked, you know, watching videos of people getting the ones I want. I do want a couple more ear piercings in the future. Um, I am considering a forward helix, which is around this area. Um, they said on most ears that they can do at least one. You can't guarantee like a double or a triple forward helix um, just because of different ear shapes. But I am hoping to get, I don't know, one on this ear, I think. I like it on this ear because also it would interfere with the rook, I think, here. So, um... I don't know, maybe one. Yeah, I think just one I'd like there. Um, and then, so that may be like sometime soon-ish future, we'll see. But um, the other one that I have wanted forever, forever, before it became like a huge fad too, is the tragus. And that is this little piece right here, which I'm scared to get because it's super thick again. And I hear that you hear the pop and all that stuff. But I really, really want it. I think, I think honestly, it would complete this year. I think this year would just, like, look awesome and finished. Um, problem is, I wear earplugs to bed every night. I can't not. Like, it's a sensory thing, and there's too much noise, and I need to sleep with them in. So I'm hoping maybe someday, like, if, I don't know circumstances are quieter or something I can get used to not sleeping with earplugs if you guys have tricks for that let me know because I really hate it like I don't like sleeping with earplugs every night um but I'm hoping someday when I don't sleep with earplugs that I can get my tragus done but they said the healing process just will not be pretty and it they can't guarantee that it will heal properly if I wear earplugs every night so I figured it's just not worth it to try, honestly, because I'll, I'll be in so much pain, and then if it fails, I can't get it re-pierced because it's cartilage, so I'd rather just wait and see. So those are the piercings that I'm looking for in the future. Let me know down below what you guys are kind of interested in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you stuck around this whole video, you're the real MVP. I love you guys so much. <laughs> so thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.